guys, my name is Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your weekly Divine Feminine reading. So for those of you that don't know, I'll be doing weekly Divine Masculine and Feminine readings only on this channel from now on. So, and that is because things were getting a little bit overwhelming trying to keep up with the 12 signs and the star signs. I felt it would be better to focus my energies on doing the Divine Masculine and Feminine. Also, you can follow me on Instagram because I do like daily um, um, uplifts on there. Now, one of the cards that came from the daily uplift today was the Empress in Reverse. So I felt the need to keep this card for the Divine Feminine energy. Yes, yeah, so this is the first card coming in from the Divine Feminine energy. Now, this can talk about um, mother issues. This can talk about... Um, feeling like there's an empty nest at home, feeling like all the children have moved out, feeling like you want to have a child but maybe you're unable to, um, feeling like your time's running out in a sense or feeling like there could have been some issues around the feminine reproductive system, there could have been abortions, hysterectomies, um, it may, there's, this can talk about root trauma, so it may have issues around the mother or the mother figure. Now this talks about needing to go back to the root, needing to go back to the root chakra in order to heal these things, yeah? Um, needing to kind of look at something around sexuali sexuality and how you present yourself as a divine feminine. There may be traumas that have been associated with this card and um, things that need healing. Um, that may be creating blocks in your feminine life. Um, issues around the mother, abandonment issues. Maybe you had a really smothering mother. Maybe you had a mother that was just very cold. This can also talk about a need for self-care and self-love at this time. So for those divine feminines that don't feel like they have this divine or this self-love or self-care, there's a need to work on that. This can also talk about not working on yourself as a feminine. So maybe you're not doing certain little things for yourself, like your nails, maybe you're not cleaning your house. This can talk about a woman that doesn't kind of look after the children properly. So if there's can any kind of healing around things like that. Also, self-care isn't just about the external. Self-care is about doing the root trauma work. It's about doing the inner healing. Now, it can talk about issues around the mum, like I said, or issues around the divine feminine energy that need healing. Now, underneath the deck, in the shadow energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who's very grounded. This is somebody who is able to care for others. And that comes from knowing her self-worth. This can be an earth energy. We also have like Libra, or Taurus with the Empress there, but this can talk about a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, but not necessarily having to be one of those. It can talk about needing to work on the energy of self-worth, yeah? Self-love is sticking out with the Empress here, and this is somebody who looks after other people. She is a great hostess, she is a great mother, but it also talks about things not coming easily, yeah? There's a process to that. She, everything that she gets comes from hard work. It comes from providing stability for others. It comes from being that rock to kind of lean on, but without negotiating your own self-worth in the process, yeah? And so we're needing to look at that. I'm also seeing the hanged man upright. So that talks about a reversal of consciousness needing to see something from another perspective in order to heal it because i can also see the three of swords in reverse so this is very much about a healing journey working on yourself in order to get into alignment with what it is that you actually want to pursue yeah knowing your own value before you kind of ask others to give you your value should i say yeah now the Divine Feminine is not wanting to fight. There is the Five of Swords here. Or it's this internal conflict. It could either mean that this is an extreme of the energy, or it means that 
somebody's laid down their sword, they're no longer willing to battle, they're no longer willing to take part in this. Yeah, they may have let themselves go in some kind of way, but it can also talk with the Three of Wands about missing an opportunity, like not seeing your ships coming in, so you just kind of give up. Or it can talk about not being able to put something in the past here, not being able to kind of let go of some kind of hurt, some kind of angst or some kind of history around maybe the mother figure or around some kind of hurt. It may talk about maybe you're hurt because um, somebody left you to raise all the children. Maybe you're hurt because your mum wasn't there. Maybe you're hurt because you feel like somebody isn't fighting for you and that may be causing this lack of self-love, this lack of self-care. Now, we're needing to let go of this energy. We're needing to kind of release our boundaries in a certain sense, or our boundaries have been placed so high that w nobody is able to get around them. This can talk about not being able to take an energy with you when you pass away. So it's like you can't take your money with you, so to speak. So needing to kind of open up, needing to see something from a new vision or a new way, yeah? And walking away, I think the Divine Feminine has been walking away from things that emotionally haven't been serving her. But it also talks about Mercury Retrograde with this card, and it can say that there's something maybe that you have to revisit, rehash, relook at, um, renew, um, reevaluate, yeah? This card also talks about the mother. Um, so it talks about the mother energy, needing to go back to those mother energies, those mother traumas, needing to look at where that stems from in order to go and manifest. Now, the thing about this card is it also can talk about um, all that glitters isn't gold. So feeling like they've had to walk away from situations because emotionally they haven't been fulfilling or it hasn't been everything hasn't been to their expectations. So there may be a situation in your life where there is some kind of trauma that's stopping you from manifesting. And that's not just for the divine feminine, this could be from the divine masculine point of view as well. They may have a feminine or a mother figure in their life that they, that's causing this kind of internal conflict or is causing some kind of root trauma in their life. And they may not, some of them, they may not want to leave home. They may be kind of mummy boys in a way, and they're kind of underneath this, the thumb of the, the feminine or the mother. We talk, we look here at the devil. Now, the devil can talk about unrequited love. It can talk about things such as um, control issues, codependency issues. So we're needing to let go of control. For some of the divine feminines, they're needing to let go of trying to control a situation. They're needing to let go of this thought of unrequited love. They're needing to let go of things in the 3D, such as events that may have happened in the 3D regarding finances I'm getting, because we do have the, um, the Ace of Pentacles underneath that. Now, both, both the masculine and the feminine got the Ace of Pentacles here. Now, the Divine Mother Manifest is looking at root trauma. It's looking at what what is holding us back from this energy, yeah? What do we need to look at in order to manifest? And yet again, it harps on to the Divine Mother or the Divine Feminine en Energy as a whole, yeah? Now, also here we have, next to the Three of Wands in reverse, we have the Two of Wands. Now, leaving something anchored to this building here, in order to go beyond it, in order to see the world, in order to create moving forward. It's about allowing ourselves to go beyond this castle, allowing this to stay where it's anchored at and move beyond it. This is about seeing an opportunity, allowing ourselves to make a decision that will create opportunities. And these are opportunities for abundance, yeah? These are opportunities here that are needing to kind of open us up to 
how can we be happy and how can us being happy allow everybody else around us to be happy how can we use this healing as a community energy in which everybody's happy in which there's this rainbow now the funny thing is the masculine got the nine of cups and the defiled feminine got the ten of cups yeah which is a progression so the masculine has to open up in a way and then the feminine has to be more receptive in order to reach this ten of cups yeah and they may be kind of indecisive about taking opportunities here yeah this the card of egypt here is also saying that there's some kind of past life connection and it talks about um needing to go kind of beyond an energy needing to travel needing to move forward beyond something that's been holding you back we also here with the three of wands in reverse i don't see your ships coming in unless you lay down these swords unless you kind of remove the mask in a sense with the eight of cups unless you kind of revisit something and it's not necessarily to do with revisiting the masculine energy yeah it could be yes we need to heal something in terms of our, our feminine energy in order to not be kind of a, a exposing ourselves here to unrequited love, to controlling narcissistic, abusive relationships. And as we heal something within ourselves as the feminine, we will attract much better abundance because this is something that's taken us out of the gate. I also see in the last reading the masculine had two hands one hand underneath and one hand here so this is about acceptance and that talks about being receptive to an offer that's coming in i see it as this is not somebody that's giving this energy to somebody this is somebody that is allowing themselves to receive yeah this is about happiness this is about joy now this morning when i pulled the energy um for the daily uplift on instagram we got the gift of dance now this talks about the divine feminine's aura their aura chakra needing to be healed now the aura chakra is a place that we call home it is a place that feels like home and we may be disconnecting from that energy because we're not wanting to allow people into our energetic aura or into that place that we we feel protects us our aura is our protection so we're needing to kind of open this up now the divine feminine may be putting herself solely into work as a point of um self-protection so it's like throwing herself into work maybe is avoiding the fact that she really wants to have children or throwing herself into work maybe and there's not that balance between work and play maybe also causing the house to look a state maybe meaning that yes we're we're going for the the three D things like finances and we've got the car and everything but there's other things that are, are lacking as a result now the gift of dance tells us to kind of open up ourselves to alignment we have metatron's cube here yeah it also says on here you are so beautiful to me i promise to love you forever so the divine feminine is needing to open herself up to this energy in order to receive this love now you can do that with the gift of dance through music it's about getting back into our body and out of our kind of emotional state now the empress may mean in reverse that you've been chasing this love for some of you but the empress in the upright doesn't chase she attracts yeah she also manifests through her emotional state so when we are in this kind of backward state here what we're going to manifest isn't going to be the best let's say so that is a warning for the divine feminine if you want to manifest um from your emotions yeah and get from this eight of cups to this ten of cups which is a a progression and in between that is the divine masculine energy of the nine of cups which is interesting so in order to get to that progression 
It's about doing this work on the mother or the grandmother issues, maybe, yeah? It's about looking to make some kind of conscious decision, yeah? That takes you beyond consciousness. There may be triggers and trauma and things that we're kind of hiding and it's beyond our level of consciousness and it's affecting our lives. So needing to kind of open up to that. Now, in terms of the doors here, I picked a door card and we got heart healing, yeah? And it says, morning now has had its time. And I don't mean as in morning, as in good morning. I mean morning as in something has died, yeah? And the funny thing is the divine masculine got morning, but it was the, uh, the, the night and day morning, yeah? And it was talking about awakening and being um, arising. So it says, morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness, a new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. So this is talking about the work that the divine feminine has to do on herself. Now we also have the cake and it talks about material rewards and physical satisfac satisfaction. Now we can't get that from this empress in reverse like I was saying there is a need to drop these swords with the five of swords otherwise we're going to kind of miss opportunities now where we have the devil in our cards the masculine had the hierophant which is complete opposite energy to the devil so it's looking towards the spiritual as opposed to the material so we're needing to let go of trying to manifest materially and work more on our emotions in order to gain these material words in rewards in order to have our cake and eat it so to speak yeah we also have the serpent which talks about instincts it talks about our fears it talks about needing to confront things that we we know or may not know yeah now the star of indecision here means that we need to weigh up this decision yeah do you want to be happy are you going to manifest from this place of the empress in reverse and the devil or are we going to let go of control um, with the devil in reverse in order to bring in this new start this ace of um, pentacles just like the masculine had so there is two types of healing that need to be done the masculine is kind of opening himself up or we're needing to open ourselves up to our receptivity yeah in order to manifest so that's where the masculine energy is coming from but the feminine energy is needing to do this inner work this trauma work, this healing work, yeah? They're needing to weigh up. It also talks about the dancer. This card is the card of the dancer as well. So music is gonna be a very big thing, especially with the gift of dance here too. So it's like putting on some music, cleaning the house. It's about allowing your body to just move, allowing you to get into your body and out of this auric field of protection where you feel like oh i'm just defensive i need to protect myself i need to put up my boundaries because the five of swords talks about a no-win situation yeah and it also talks about conflict or any kind of conflict that is going to make us see something for what it is so if you're having any kind of conflict around mother issues around um infidelity betrayal yeah or you're having conflict around um finances to do with um a a partner perhaps or a, a um, somebody that you have children with maybe there's conflict around or issues coming up around how your mother treated you and this may be affecting how you move forward as well now yeah so basically the high the we're needing to make a decision we're needing to look at our value and our self-worth moving forward so that we don't make those same mistakes yeah and this is going to come from healing this energy this stability this groundedness yes it's going to be hard work because like i said the queen of pentacles everything she does 
is from a place of hard work, but she also gets the abundance from that. Yeah, she is very abundant. This is somebody who can be materially abundant by themselves. Yeah, they don't necessarily need the King of Pentacles to be abundant. This is somebody who could be looking at entrepreneurship. Yeah, and so if you're if you're having a business and maybe your business is having issues, you might need to look at your mother issues, and that will heal things moving forward for you. Yeah. So, yeah, it's about needing to look at things from a whole new perspective. Not allowing ourselves to be caught in this energy of humiliation, of stuckness, feeling like everybody's laughing at our pain. This is about somebody that is, is, has something behind their back. They're hiding something behind their back. And it's this new sense of enlightenment yeah this is somebody that is hanging around with nowhere to go it's like we've done the work we've we've got this we've made the sacrifices there's sacrifices and there's things that need to be made there was lessons that needed to be learned in order to move forward so my lovelies i really do hope this has helped and i'll see you again next friday take care stay blessed